to us um, after working around for over 10 hours yesterday in Asakusa in the Meiji Jingo, I decided to do something different today. Um, this actually goes out to my hobby friends in Germany and uh, well, the rest of Europe, I guess. Uh, I will find, or I will try to find a games workshop store today and I'll talk a little bit uh, more about the hobby along the way. My first stop brought me to Ikebukuro where um, I will try to find the west exit. As always, I've created a very delicate little map for myself. Look at that! This is how I'll find it. Good thing my sense of direction is okay. See the, the little circle thingies down there? Oh, how cool is that? Google Earth for the win! My theory is that if you don't really know where you're going, take some bizarre side road, then get lost. Because if you're in the wrong place, and then you get lost, of course you will end up at the right place. Where well, there's Sakura, there is Hanami party, even if it's just for lunch break, it's great. Uh, there I have it now. I went through some bizarre roads, I completely got lost. And of course, I did find that place. In Japan? Yes, please. Hi. Alright, for those of you that have seen my hobby room, this looks very similar actually. It's a very nice small little store. Cool music. <laughs> so I just found out that there's also painting competitions in Japan. Uh, from what I understand, it's uh, similar to Australia, where there's like a regional um, stores where you can actually go to. Um, show your managers and there's going to be a couple of them be elected to go to the next round and so on and so something similar is going on here uh, it's not only the uh, official games workshop st stores of which i believe there's uh, six or seven right now in tokyo but also in the partner stores and then they go to the uh, main store um, to yeah select the finalists and so on so uh, i have to find out when that is and uh, i will find out when that is and of course i will enter um, I don't know what to enter yet, but there's going to be some awesome event. So the manager of the story, my lucky son, uh, will start a Blood Angels army next week, which is apparently his first uh, 40k army. He's done uh, many, many armies, uh, like to 2,000 points for fantasy, but now he's doing uh, 40k. You may have seen these already on um, Beasts of War, for example, and other other uh, news on the um, on the web. But uh, these models look really nice. And of course they do have nipples on their armor. This is the uh, new Blood, Blood Angel frame and it's nasty. It's, it's really nice, nice, nice. It has so much detail. I mean Games Workshop is really doing a good job on getting all these fine details <coughs> on their models now. And of course there is the Japanese version of Warhammer 40k. Unfortunately I can only get this in uh, the starter set so um, I probably end up getting it anyways but right now uh, since I have not moved into my apartment yet I probably wait until I'm settled in and then I'm gonna buy it. All right that was very very nice. Um, small store opens with a sliding door that was uh, quite new but uh, very nice guys. English is pretty good and um, we talked a little bit about the painting contest. Apparently the last one was last year, end of last year. So uh, there's going to be some time before the next one. And um, yeah, I mean, as soon as I settled in my apartment, uh, I'm definitely going to go back there and uh, get some stuff. So there you have it, Games Workshop in Japan. Well, I did promise a little special. So uh, right now I will go and have some go-go curry at a gorilla place and um, this goes out to um, 
what may be known as one of the most awesomest, the most elite, the most prestigious group of individuals, um, well, the weirdest people in the world uh, at Massive Voodoo. Great painters, great sculptors, and utterly crazy. So, guys, this is for you. Okay, and now as I will be featuring Massive Voodoo, the blog for uh, painting guys in Germany, uh, with this uh, video, I will also eat some gorilla food. Right, this is interesting. I have to first buy a ticket of what I want. So on the left side, you get to select the different types, and on the top, you get to select the size. So this here is fast Krasu, first class. Then it goes to business Krasu, economy Krasu, and Heru Herushik Krasu. What that means? That's uh, probably the low economy. Very nice place. I can recommend it. It was very, very tasty. A lot of food too, so good stuff. Okay, this is the Gorilla Curry. No hashis, just a fork. Really good. <clears throat> no, I'm a fast eater. And the guy next to me started at the same time as I did. Hey, my, I think we'll go over it and we'll do the best there.